A couple of days back, my friend asked me, could one make more money in money market fund than real estate? And the answer is absolute yes. And before we go into this spreadsheet to do some calculations, I want to explain what is ROI. ROI is return on investment, which is the measure of how much money or profit is made in an investment as a percentage of the total cost of that investment. So you have to compute return on investment to see what you gain as a result of investing that money. In this example, I'm going to compare between real estate and money market fund. These two type of investments are completely of different strategies. One is long term and the other one is short term. So I'm going to use this as a result of some of the things that you should be thinking whenever you want to put your money in investment because one can be used to tap into the other. In my spreadsheet, I have picked up three examples. Now, in this scenario of using real estate, I have omitted repairs, renovations, and also with an assumption that your property will be occupied 100%. Of course, this is quite an aggressive assumption, but we will use this to show you what could be the differences between real estate and money market fund. So let's go ahead and do some calculations. So the first property here is from South B in Likoni Road. And this property goes for 30 million shillings with a rental income of 110,000 per month. So let's go put in key in the values and see what comes out. So the rental property is 30M. The monthly income is 110. The annual income is equals to monthly multiplied by 12 for annual income. The ROI is equals to the annual income divided by the price of the property. Now, property number one, the ROI is 4%. The property number two is in the high-end neighborhoods of Westlands, which goes for 60 million with 200K as rental income. So let's go ahead and do calculations for this. Okay, so we do the same, which goes to also 4%. Okay, so property one and property two gives us 4% as ROI. Property number three, these are two screenshots from two different advertisements. One is for the house, which is 7.8. And the second one is that 8,000 as the rental income for Nyayo Estate. So it's the same place. One is for the price of the house and the other one is for the rental property. Let's do the math and see what comes out. I've used 7.8 as a figure. So we see the third property has higher ROI compared to the high-end properties. So this is interesting because you can imagine you're going to spend 60 million. You're thinking that 200,000 is sufficient, but the guy who gets maybe three properties of this or four properties of this, he will actually beat you on ROI. So let's go ahead and compare this with money market fund. Now I'll put this link in my video description below so that you can use and um, do your compounding interest. Let's go ahead. I will use this last option, which has 6% as a benchmark, because this is the highest of the three that I've gotten. And I'm not saying that this all houses will be 6%, but I want to show you the differences between the ROIs of these two investments. So let's go ahead. I'll use 7.8. In my previous video on money market fund, I used 10%. This one, I'll be conservative. I'll, I'll put 9. Here, I'll use 2. Interest rate in money market fund is calculated on month to month basis. So the input here is correct and I'll hit calculate. The first thing you observe is that my initial investment is 7.8. The money that I put into money market fund manager. The monthly interest is 58,500. So with this, you can see that you're actually making more money in money market compared to the rental income of 38,000. So let's put in the let's put in the figure here. This is over twenty thousand more compared to the thirty eight thousand. However, I want to clarify one thing here. This amount is inclusive of withholding tax. So let's do the math on withholding tax, which is equal to this amount multiplied by zero point eight five. In a nutshell, I can put my seven point eight million in money market fund, pay thirty eight thousand 
money market gives me 49 and the difference I can actually use it to pay for utilities such as electricity, water or service charge. So the difference here is around 11,725. Let's first of all see what happens. The first thing I need to point out is that it will be misleading to assume that the property will not appreciate in value. That is a very misleading statement because maybe the 7.8 in the next maybe two years this property will be 7 maybe 8 million thereabout. However, what I want to show you as well is that money market fund does the same thing. The starting point of 58,000 uh, by the time you get to 12 months interest rate has increased to 63,511 and this is the power of compounding and by the 24th month you're almost clicking 70,000 on interest rate. So I'm not saying that the growth is the same but both these investments there is actually an appreciation in return on investment. Something that I want to make it very clear in regards to these two type of investments and I mentioned it at the beginning of this video is that these two are completely different sets of investment. However, the reason why I'm doing this video is because of two things. One is how to calculate your ROI on the real estate and two, the decisions that you make. Because at times you'd find that the money that you invest in real estate could actually be put somewhere in like money market fund. Let it earn interest. If the returns are low, why should you put your money into 6% or 4% while you can be getting 9% or more with money market fund? So you can pack the funds there for two years and then maybe by the time you get the two years, the property of course, people will say, of course, the property will have appreciated. But look at the difference here. After two years, you actually have 9.3 million. This is the estimate of what you get. So if there is a lag in property, you'll find that if the property has gone up by 200,000, your money market has actually gone, gone up by 1.5 million in terms of ROI. So before you quickly push your money, make a sound decision, do some calculations. These are simple mathematics that cannot take you so much to work on. My appeal here is whenever you try and put your money into investment, whether it's long term or short term, try to place something that is worth doing at that time. You can pack your money and then invest into another kind of investment. Uh, I hope this video is helpful guys. Thank you for your time. Share and subscribe. See you in my next video.